One turning point in my life was watching a group of seven kids who were part of a nonprofit. And among the seven kids, we had foster care, we had formerly incarcerated, you know, domestic violence, we had homeless, um, LGBTQ. We pretty much had it among the seven kids, single parents. I watched these young people hustle. The, the grit, the grit in the the passion was completely like unmatched. I had never seen it in my life. These were people who were not sure where the next meal was coming from, who were not sure where they were going to pay their heads. And they would stay to work on what it was they were passionate about, sometimes past midnight. Like we literally had to beg them, listen, you have to leave this space because I have to teach at 9 in the morning. These are young people that their stories will move you to tears. But they're there every day. With the biggest smile, with the biggest passion, with the most curious mindsets, period, that I had ever encountered. And one day I sat down and I said to myself, you know, they have no excuse for not showing up. So one actually walked from Brooklyn to Harlem just to make it. So I have no reason whatsoever to give up on anything I believe in because of that experience. I mean, talking about it is like, it, it wells me up sometimes, you know. I want to say from that day, I wake up full of passion. For instance, Style 52 is like, that's what's on my mind when I wake up. That's what's on my mind when I go to sleep, right? How do I help these entrepreneurs? What else can I do? It's about making sure that this passion that I have does not wane. So I think that experience um, drives everything. Whatever you set your mind to doing, do it passionately. Do it like your entire life depended on it. It may not mean anything to the next person, but you're not doing it for them, right? You're not doing it because you want them to, you know, you, you want their accolades from them. Now, you're doing it because it's what you believe in, because it's what drives you.